gonna take you a while. So that Mercedes is um, it's up to the student to make the call. If you're quick enough to move off, then definitely you can go. If you feel like you don't have good clutch control, then wait. Whatever happens, do not slow down someone's uh, priority. Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the button for all the latest videos. Today we're going to do a driving mock test, a real mock test. By myself, your fully qualified driving instructor, I'm going to show you how you should be driving, um, how the exam will be set up, how the examiner will be marking you and what exactly you should be doing in your driving test. If you've got a test coming up or you just want to see what it's like to do a driving test, watch this video, watch it to the end and you'll get loads of tips, loads of help, loads of advices. So do watch it and let me know if I've passed or failed. Comment below at the end of the video, let me know if I've passed or failed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, break a bit. I'm in gear two. I'm gonna go to gear one as he stopped. It looks like he's parked. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. He's got has the lights on. Check my right mirror. Imagine this is your test. Look through the car. There's no cars coming. Double check that right. I know he's changed his mind. Okay. You have to deal with these kind of situations in the test if it happens. Okay. Go up to gear two. So he just stopped right in the middle of nowhere and I had to somehow get around him but make sure it was safe. The, and then he changes mind which makes our life a bit easier now I, can, I don't have to do that extra work. Interior, I'm going right here. There's a giveaway line on the floor. Therefore, I have to be the one that waits and checks. Okay, look both ways. Okay, I'm going to push you into the road. And I'm going left here. Watch this kid. Indicate left. I made it. I'm going to put the hammer cups in someone hill. Uh, tap the gas a little bit to give give my car a little bit more power. Hammer it down, look both ways, lean forward, and another zebra crossing. I have to watch her, brake, check my mirror, she's gone, and carry on. A lot's happening in that, literally, that little part of the junction. Okay, check your mirrors and carry on. The key there was I took my time, I stayed patient and I was alert and I saw that zebra crossing as well. As soon as I got on, I had control of the car. I was pressing a bit of the gas to give myself some power to get through that hill as well. And I, I followed the rules of the junction. There was a giveaway. I didn't, I didn't miss that giveaway sign. Let's go straight over on the roundabout. Okay. Great, go down to gear two. Look right, follow the shape. There's a Mercedes but I can make it before he comes. And I can go. Okay. Check your mirrors. Going on to gear one. So that Mercedes is um, it's up to the student to make the call. If you're quick enough to move off, then definitely you can go. If you feel like you don't have good clutch control, then wait. Whatever happens, do not slow down someone's uh, priority. Go up to gear two. Okay. Check your mirrors. Up to gear three, I can see it's 20 miles an hour. Okay, interior left, move back in. Looking ahead, there's a bend, I can see traffic, I can see a bus, I'm gonna brake. Go down to gear two, again, it's extremely tight here. I'm gonna check my mirrors. And clutch that, going to gear one now. Move slightly out the way for the cars coming. Okay, Bite, biting point we go. So these are extremely narrow roads. Um, not because the roads are narrow, because of the parked cars really making the na uh, road quite narrow. So how do you deal with such situations? Be a bit more slower if necessary. Check out right, this car sticking out. Go down to gear one, check my right mirror, slightly move away from her. Check our interior left, move back in. Uh, up to gear two. Again, awkward situation, the car is sticking out. We have to make the decision to move around. Okay, brake, clutch down, go down to gear one. Let's go straight on the roundabout.
there's a zebra crossing so as we get there in front of the Rhine Devil we have to be a bit cautious and observant There's a lady I see, okay, she's gone. There's a girl on the left, guy with a yellow bib, lady with a pram, she's not crossing. I'm also looking at the right, there's a car turning left, looking ahead and left. Looking at this little girl here, yeah, they're crossing, I made the uh, right decision. Okay. And there's a little kid, but he's a bit further out. Go for this car's indicating left, look in front, we're gonna make it. I went to gear two, I'm going back to gear one. This bus is slightly cut us in. We did nothing wrong, but we reacted to him at least. Okay, there's a kid trying to cross, scanning. Okay. okay. Biting point, just double check and scan and go. Go up to gear two. So there the bus affected our driving, it was our right away, but we had to react to him. You can't, you can't complain, you can't do anything about it. So I went back to gear one, slowed down a bit and let him cut through. Preparing for the lights to change, we're gonna make it I'm about say about 60 miles an hour right there. Go up to gear three again. Preparing for the lights to change. So as I get closer, I'm gonna break. Stay in gear three for the speed bump here. I can see a hill up ahead. Pedestrian. It's gonna go to gear two. I've changed my mind. Let's get a bit closer. I'm gonna go to gear two now, just purely because of the hill to give myself a bit more power. And scanning another zebra crossing scanning okay I'm going to gear one now so I can roll upwards that way I don't need to stop scan scan there's a girl on the left little kid here yeah I'm gonna make it up to gear two and we go check my mirrors 20 miles an hour zone up to gear three Break a little bit to control the speed here. It's quite tight again. Check our right mirror and carry on. And we're in gear three, we're fine. Okay. Make sure you maintain 20 now. It's quite open road right now. Very easy to break the speed limit. Okay. And just check your mirror so you know who's around you. Looking far ahead. There's a little van driver right up my car, tailgating, but I'm trying to maintain 20. I'm not going to let the car pressure me to break the speed limit. Uh, same with you students. Of course, it's peak time. People want to get home. They want to pick up their kids. I get that. But in your test, you have to follow the rules. Don't let the pressure get to you. Okay, let's turn left at the traffic lights. Now, look, if the van wants to overtake, he probably will. We'll see. We're gonna hog the left lane, we're turning left at the traffic lights. Okay. So interior left. I'm gonna indicate about now. Start braking. Clash time before the cycle lane. I'm gonna stop. Go to gear one. And let's stop the car. Handbrake up. Okay, I'm just going to neutral. You don't have to, but I recommend you stay in one if you're in your test. So the traffic light, you can see a filter light. You can see an extra set of traffic light on the left of it. So watch out for the green arrow, if there is one. There you go, gear one. Double check that left mirror. And I'm off, up to gear two. I'm taking the third exit at the roundabout. So as I turn left, there's a the roundabout. Check my right mirror, move across, indicator right to move across. Cancel the indicator, let's keep going. And that's the end of part two. What do you guys think? Did I make a mistake? Maybe I think I did, but um, we're going to analyze it at the end of the homework test. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and watch out for part three.